let's look at <clears throat> this question on integration okay the question is integrate uh, 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 dx okay I, I want to do two uh, two examples in this video so this is one example and this is the next example so you can pause the video now and if you're a calculus student and preparing for exams especially in CE exams, I would like you to pause this video and try to do it yourself. And then you can uh, listen to the answer or see how, uh, how I work. So we both can work differently and get the same answer. Hopefully you'll pause the video now. Okay. Now, so we are, I'm going to do a U substitution. So it's always better to... Uh, do a u substitution of the denominator so i'm going to say let u is equal to x plus one so when in u substitution what you do is you change everything in terms of u so this is in terms of x so i'm changing everything in terms of u so if you differentiate both sides with respect to x uh, i can say du by dx is one which implies du is equal to dx. So in place of du or in place of dx, I can put du. Okay, now my next goal is to write the numerator in terms of u. The denominator, the denominator I have written in terms of u, or I have let the denominator to be u. I want to make the numerator in terms of u. So, well, I think, what can I do to get the numerator? So, I can see an x here, I got a 2x here. So, what if I multiply both sides by 2? So, this will become 2u is equal to 2x plus 2. So, we have got the 2x. Now, we want the negative 1 here. So, how can I get a negative 1 here? What should I do to plus 2 to get a negative 1? You should know it's take away 3 so if I'm going to take away 3 from both sides so 2u minus 3 is equal to 2x plus 2 minus 3 <coughs> so 2u minus 3 is nothing but 2x minus 1 <coughs> excuse me so this is the three substitutions that I'm going to do I'm going to put x plus 1 as u dx as du and 2x minus 1 as 2u minus 3. So the whole example changes in terms of u. So this changes to 2u minus 3 over u du. I'm going to dis distribute this u. So this is nothing but 2u over u minus 3 over u du. So the u can be cancelled. So this is nothing but integration of 2 minus 3 times 1 over u du. So this is nothing but uh, 2, you can distribute the u, so integration of, you can say integration of 2 du minus 3 times integration of 1 over u du. The integration of 2u is nothing but, so integration of 2 du is 2u minus an integration of 1 over u is natural log of u so this is 3 natural log of modulus of u plus c okay therefore i can say i want in terms of x so i can say therefore integration of 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 dx is 2 times u is x plus 1 so I can get 2 times x plus 1 <coughs> minus 3 times natural log of x plus 1 plus c so this is your answer okay now yeah you can be quite happy with the answer but at times what happens especially in exams if in integration especially or in uh, even in, in differentiation even if one number is wrong okay if you have done a silly mistake somewhere here you the whole thing can be wrong okay and especially if it's a merit or an excellence question they are looking for perfection 
Now this is surely a merit question. Now how can I check whether this integration is right? So as I have discussed in other videos, you can see there are two ways. One way is you can use the graphic calculator, change this example into a definite integral example between 0 to 1 and see what the calculator gives you. And then you do it, put it here and see what uh, you get it by hand. And if both the answers are same, then you can see say that your answer is right. But we are going to do it in an algebraic way, as you should be knowing that integration is the opposite of differentiation. So if this function differentiates or integrates to this, if it differentiate the right hand side, you should get this. So I'm going to differentiate each of or integrate the right hand side with respect to x. So let me write like that. Differentiating RHS with respect to x. So this is all in short, okay? So you, this is all acronyms. R H is right hand side, W R T stand for with respect to x. So I can say d by dx of 2 times x plus 1 minus d by dx of 3 times natural log of x plus 1 plus d by dx of c. Okay, so what happens now? So this is, now, so this is a good way of also practicing your differentiation. So this is nothing but 2x plus 2. So when you differentiate 2x plus 2, you get 2. Okay, minus 3 times. And differentiation of natural log is 1 over, so natural log of x, differentiation of natural log of x is 1 over x. So this is, 1 over x plus 1. Of course, you have to use the chain rule. Uh, your differentiation of the inside is 1, so it doesn't matter. So it's 1 over x plus 1 plus 0. So this is nothing but 2 minus 3 over x plus 1. This is 2 over 1. So this is same as, you, you can write this as 2 times x plus 1 over x plus 1 minus 3 over x plus 1. So in this step what I have done is I multiply the numerator and denominator with x plus 1. So you have the common denominator so you can add the or take away the numerator. So this is 2x plus 2 minus 3 over x plus 1. And here and behold you've got 2x minus 1 over x plus 1. So you are pretty confident that your answer is right. So this is this is how you this is your checking work. So this is your right in short check. This is how you check your answer. So you should be super confident that your answer is right. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Hopefully you're done this question. Uh, again I'll give you you can pause my video for a uh, few minutes and then see how I have worked the answer out. Okay, so here again, as a rule of thumb, uh, let us take the denominator as u. So u let u is equal to x plus 1. This implies du is equal to dx. Now this is pretty simple. Now the task is to convert this in terms, change this to this form. So in other words, I want to express the numerator, which is x squared plus 2x minus 1, in terms of u. So I look at this and say, I want an x squared here. So how can I get an x squared? I can't do x squared and 1 squared. I have to square both sides. Okay? So I'm squaring both sides. So you get u squared is x plus 1 squared. So u squared is x squared plus 2x plus 1. So you got x squared, you got 2x. Now I want a negative 1 here. So how can I get a negative 1 here? Okay, I can get a negative 1 by taking away 2 from this side. So you have to take away 2 from this side. So this becomes, let me bring back my uh, bluish black color. So this is u squared minus 2 is equal to x squared plus 2x 
and this is the neat thing in of calculus that you are discovering many new things these are small tricks that we do to get to the answer so we have expressed the numerator as u minus 2 the denominator is u and I have expressed dx as du so changing color so I can say this whole thing changes to integration of the numerator is u my u squared minus 2 over u du okay so this is nothing but integration of u squared over u minus 2 over u du okay so what is the next step so this is equal to integration of u minus 2 times 1 over u du so if you differentiate u you get u squared over 2 minus 2 times natural log of u plus c okay therefore we can say integration of x squared plus 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 dx is equal to u was x plus 1 so this is x plus 1 squared over 2 minus 2 times natural log of x plus 1 plus c okay so this is your answer okay so now I want to check whether my answer is right so you do the same thing you differentiate the right hand side and see whether you get this back and that's the proof that you got the right answer so you can say differentiating RHS with respect to X with respect to not D but X I say okay well d by dx of x plus 1 squared over 2 minus 2 d by dx of natural log of x plus 1 plus d by dx of constant which is c and differentiation of constant is 0 so here you have to use the uh, so I'll take the put the half out okay half time differentiating the inside so differentiation of inside is 1 and then the outside which is 2 times x plus 1 to the power 1 minus 2 times 1 over x plus 1 plus 0 so this is also good practice of your differentiation uh, differentiation skills so this and this gets cancelled so you got x plus 1 over 1 minus 2 over x plus 1 okay <coughs> now what happens you can cross multiply or multiply both the numerator and denominator with x plus 1 so I write <coughs> I like that method so x plus 1 times x plus 1 over x plus 1 to make the denominators equal 2 over x plus 1 so this is nothing but x plus 1 squared minus 2 over x plus 1 so this changes to so this is now if expand this this is 2x x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 2 over x plus 1 and here we go we got the numerator that is x squared plus 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 and that's what we ventured out to do and so you can be pretty sure that your answer is absolutely correct